it was recently said by Vince McMahon that within the next 30 days, John Cena, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, and Seth Rollins are going to be returning to WWE TV. Now, with the exception of Seth Rollins, I think we can all agree we want back on WWE TV. My big question, do we really need those other three guys? Yes. Uh, maybe you could expound on that. Well, okay. Actually, yes and no. Uh, you need one. You kind of need John Cena. Do we? I think you do. I don't know. I, I See, me personally, I think WWE needs a lack of Cena so that they can learn how to build a new star again. Because John Cena is like that old girlfriend you go you go back to when you're really like bored and alone, and you call the same person that you know will always be there, but at the same time you're not trying to better yourself. Like you're not trying to make improvements on your own life, and you're just like, oh, let me go back to this thing that I know is always going to work. See, I feel that way about Randy Orton. I don't necessarily feel that way about John Cena. Well, okay. Can can we twist the question a little bit then? So I feel like it's going to I feel like we're going to go on a on a very kind of flat thought here. Okay. What would like can can you get excited for Randy Orton and, and John Cena being mixed up with the new crop of talent? Um we do have the announcement of of apparently in Honolulu and somewhere I've been seeing this called Bash at the Beach for some reason. Um John Cena's taking on Nakamura. Mhm. That has to be enough for you to be like, oh, something's something's up here, you know. Nope. You don't get that with no. Ra- you don't get that with uh, Randy Orton at all. No, God, no. Uh, I, see, me personally, I'm not saying John Cena should be let go. I'm not saying that. No. Treat him as an attraction, because every young up and coming star that has run across John Cena has run into John Cena syndrome. Damian Sandow. Ray Wyatt, Kevin Owens to an extent, Rusev. All these guys had big matches with John Cena. And some of them may have squeaked out a win, but most of them all lost. And then after they lose to John Cena, they mire in obscurity and in some cases get let go, never to be heard from again. Oh. Like we're, We've just finished doing recovery on Rusev or Kevin Owens. Well, here's like, the th- he just finished that. Here's the thing. I think John Cena, while that is true, that that's just a case of what they kind of get. I, I agree with making him a special attraction, so to speak, but there is a case where I think John Cena can elevate the talent still. Like, I think his match, for example, when he dropped the belts to Daniel Bryan, even though we had the stuff with Orton afterwards, that elevated Daniel Bryan. That, that completely elevated him. Some would say, you know, he kind of elevated CM Punk to a degree. Obviously, they kind of fucked up some stuff with the whole, you know, Summer Punk. But, like, in a way, he elevated him. There's still potential for him to elevate guys. But you're bringing up feuds and where John Cena ultimately lost. I still think you could do – again, it's just a case of them booking him in a certain way. I don't think John Cena is opposed to, you know, building building up to something big and having him lose. They just got to do it. Me, I – my thing is that John Cena can elevate somebody to that next level. I don't think a Randy Orton can. I don't. I think he can have good to decent matches, but that's not going to elevate anyone. That's not going to make a new star. Uh, Potter, what do you think? Uh, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I would rather see John Cena over Randy Orton, only because of that he would build stars. You give that young guy an opportunity to run with Cena. Let Cena put him over a few times. He gets that rub. He's now become a big star. 